through the convergence of eight streets. Run 18,000 cars per day, according to FDOT. It's going to be traffic. And in the middle of it all runs the Brightline train. Confusion Corner is more than Confusion Corner now. As Pam Cartwright fills up her tank, knowing she's not far from it, Yards. she wonders what will happen now that a Brightline station will be added to the mix. I wasn't happy about it. Look at the traffic we have now. According to the proposal, as many as 550 cars could park at the new station, most of which would funnel through Stewart's most infamous intersection. The day after Thanksgiving, there was 5,000 people in downtown Stewart, and everybody funneled in and funneled out very quickly. Stewart City Manager Mike Mortel says traffic was taken into account before submitting a proposal and hopes, if anything, the station will help traffic. People can leave their cars at home and not be coming in and out of the major, major thoroughfares. Ross McDermott works downtown and believes the parking garage especially will only help keep things moving. I mean, um, this weekend we had a lot of uh, foot traffic with uh, the arts festival and um, yeah, people are parking four or five blocks away. But that parking garage could cost up to $30 million. Add in the station and track work, we're now talking up to 60. So the question is, who's going to pay for that? I mean, I don't want the taxes to go up. They are already high. <laughs> According to the city and county's interlocal agreement, Brightline, the city and county would split the cost. Seward paying for the parking garage, Brightline and the county splitting the rest. But Mortel says all parties are applying for grants. Offset those costs as much as we possibly can. What if you don't get those grants? Would there be an impact to taxpayers? No, as a matter of fact, we would have to deviate from other choices, but we would not let it affect taxation. And that's at least good news for residents, hoping the traffic doesn't impact them either. Mm, we'll see, I guess. <laughs> In Stewart, Kate Hussey, WPTV News Channel 5.